<clears throat> Yo, what's happening, everybody? I just read some bullshit story that Reed, that Reed was gonna, if Reed leaves, he's gonna pick his own replacement. Like, what kind of, kind of hell, what kind of shit is that? How the hell do you fire a dude, about to fire a dude, but wants to pick his own replacement? Larry, <clears throat> come to your sense and, and, and f fire his ass after the, after the last game, after week 17. Fire him. Fire his ass. I mean, shit, damn. Why, why pick up? Why, why let a man get a, um make a replace have a, his own replacement when that dude when he's probably gonna pick somebody just like him? Andy Reid, Andy arrogant Reid is probably gonna pick somebody else arrogant to not listen to other fans do what they want. Like keep running the ball, run the ball, run the ball, and, and when they want people to pass, and they keep passing, passing, passing when they want them to run it. We don't need no more lopsided coaches. We need somebody that's gonna help us win. Another article I read. But the article with coaches, once the coaches win a Super Bowl with one team, they're not going to win a Super Bowl with the other team. Next team, team they're with next. So no no John Gruden, no Bill Cowher, neither one of those dudes. <clears throat> Someone I'd like to see at the helm is Chip Kelly. Or I know this guy's not proven, but he seems like a good quali quali qualified coach. Um, Herm Edwards. Actually, no, 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 Herm Edwards. That guy looks too laid back in the first place. He looks too laid back. Or maybe that's just, or maybe, or maybe that's just his TV personality on ESPN. But I don't know. There has been times I've seen um, I seen him have a um conference, and yell yeah, say, "Put your name on it." That conference, you know. But um, yeah. But. Jeffy Lurie, do yourself a favor. Fire Andy Reid. Don't let him pick nothing. Let him do nothing. There's no point. This game Sunday, it means nothing. I don't care who wins. I got the Eagles winning it. I predict them to win it, but it don't mean I don't want to win. I just predict them to win it. Oh, shit. Like... Damn. Was why why play if your season if you know your season is over? It's pointless, right? Exactly. It's pointless. Two Fiend 16, both that were both down with the Bills and some other losers. Might as well see what we got in foes. Hell. If we If we um if we, if Foles isn't doing any, us any good, then hell, lose every game, get a top 10 pick, trade that top 10 pick, and all that talent to that team with the first pick, and draft Matt Barkley. If you know what, Nick's true on that. Keep saying where you at when you lost, and cut them dudes, and, um... Just the best lineman in that damn draft. I mean, it makes no sense for nobody to get touched as much as Vic does. No sense at all. When you see Brady and Peyton in the pocket, they have like three seconds and they get the ball off quick. Vic holds the ball too long and I don't blame him because he wanted to think. But you see, when you see Brady or, or Peyton play, they get that ball out of every, even two or three seconds. That O line doesn't have to try to hold up for six seconds and then Vic get hit. And everybody want to blame him on the O line. Let me show you, show you something about Vic. Well, no, it actually Foles. When Foles got in there, he made that O line look good. I mean, he got he got hit, but not as much as Vic does, but he made that O line look kind of good. Not the Now, we got one of the worst O lines in the league. But. Foles may look good. He he played pretty good that game, other than the ton of turnovers. So this Sunday, Foles going to get a start. Going to see how he plays for a full game. Also put, no more Vic. Don't put Trey Edwards in unless Foles gets hurt or needs to sit on the sideline for, any, for anything. 
So, you might also groom your, your quarterback, your backup quarterback, to see what the next coach has to work, what he, what he has to work with. So he don't just bomb the whole roster and get some other new guys. Now I'm going to even take a pay cut or you get cut, my dude. Babin, I'm so sure you're getting cut. Reed is guaranteed to get fired. Two more losses, and he, I'm certain he's officially guaranteed to get fired because Lurie said, Lurie said 8 and 8 will not save Reed's job. So I'm holding Lurie as a man of his word. He don't do it. He's not a man of his word. And this guy is all about entertainment. All about cashing his money in every Monday, after every Sunday. So. Other than that, I hope, I hope that article is not true. I hope Reed doesn't really pick. I really hope, really hope Reed does pick his own replacement. To those, to those that say Holmgren, get Holmgren as a head coach, he's nothing more than an Andy Reid. Nothing more than an Andy Reid. So, other than that, see ya.